So one bonus, I don't know how to filter. I don't know how. Um, I haven't been doing this long enough to put effort into learning either. So what you see is, is real. This is what, this is it. Well, hello there, friends. Welcome to my channel, Wrinkles and Sprinkles, where we are going to do so many fun things. Also on this channel, we're going to do a lot of uh, recreating makeup looks. I need everyone to know, everyone, I'm not a makeup artist. I really don't even know if I consider myself good at makeup, but I am obsessed with makeup. So I keep buying it, I keep trying it, and we're just gonna keep doing that. And I might as well share with you my journey to try and uh, get rid of some of these wrinkles and sprinkle in some fun, fun makeup looks. So the makeup look I wanna do today is kind of hopefully <laughs> gonna be a quick one. Um, I want to recreate a look that Julia Adams MUA, that's her YouTube channel, Julia Adams MUA, I saw her do with the Rose Quartz palette, which is my favorite palette. It's actually probably, probably tied with Mercury Retrograde. I'm a pretty big fan of these palettes, these Huda Booty. I already have all of my skincare on, I have my sunblock on, I gua shod, which is why I'm still a little red. And um, I did use this sunblock today, which is an oil. So I have noticed there are certain foundations that I can't use with that. Very specifically, the one size. There we go, focus. Um, if I put this over an oil, like this sunscreen, ooh, it peel, peels all over the place. Does anyone else ever do that? Am I the only one that says peels instead of pills? <laughs> Drives me crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's put on a different foundation. But first, I wanna try this cute little primer I got. I found it on Amazon. Um, it was in this pretty <laughs> purple package. So, you know, they sold me from Mali. Never heard of them. Doesn't mean they're not great. Uh, I just never heard of them. And again, I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> so I'm sure there's a lot of things I haven't heard of. <laughs> but apparently the thing with this, and it's actually, I thought it was purple. <laughs> it is clear. I can't get it out, but um, it's just clear. Uh, the container is purple. <laughs> I was fooled. Got he! <laughs> Got he! So you are supposed to just there is a dog hair in it. There we go. <laughs> You're supposed to just, this is a little sponge they gave, blot it in there like that, and then just tap it on your skin. <laughs> you can definitely, like it definitely took away that shine. I'm more of a person looking for, like diminishing the look of my pores, you could say. I have large pores. I'm an old, by the way. Pores, I really feel like they look the same, but it did take away a lot of that shine. So if you are an oilier person, which I do tend to be more oily, I think this would be nice. I don't remember how much it was, but obviously I'll post it somewhere. Oh, hi, foundation time. Hopefully I know how to do fireworks or something and make that look really cool. I have this one and this is the new NARS. Um, light reflecting foundation in Mont Blanc. I really like it. I also got the new Makeup Forever HD Skin and I got that in 1R02. And I really like it too. I like them both. Yeah, so uh, I think the Makeup Forever HD Skin has more coverage and like I feel like my skin looks a little bleh today. Yeah, which is odd. I guess, I guess it's not odd. Maybe it's normal. I have a dermatologist that I go to and that's actually where I get my Botox. I get Botox here in the 11s, here, and this last time they did my chin. Cause I have a big old wrinkle right there in my chin that I don't like. Um, I've only had it twice, but I've liked it so far and I think I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna do the thing where I spray a little bit of um, setting spray and then apply some powder to the T-zone. And this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. 
Ta -da. It's pretty good. It smells nice. Feels nice. Looks nice. I don't know. <laughs> it's a good one. Okay. I think that's good enough. Hopefully. So one bonus. I don't know how to filter. I don't know how. Um, I haven't been doing this long enough to put effort into learning either. So what you see is, is real. This is what my, this is it. So when I put on powder, and this is Kosas, the Cloud Set Powder in Breezy. Yeah, it looks better. But they are very clearly still there. Not as bad, granted, but they are still there. So I buy things believing people. <laughs> My pores totally disappeared. Liar. You filtered. <laughs> but for the most part, they usually look really cakey on me. Like even this one, which I think is good at like making my pores look less noticeable. You can still like, it gets really cakey right here. Um, I have never, never in my life, 45 years, been able to put a powder under my eyes and it not look cakey and crepey, ever. No matter what I do, no matter what I do. So yes, I'm on that mission to find something <laughs> I can put under my eyes that won't make them look 147 years old. All right, so T-Zone is good. I also, if you notice, I took my foundation up under my eyes, hoping maybe, you know, on a good day, I can do that and I won't need additional concealer. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so now, Let's contour. This is my favorite contour ever. I've mentioned it before, but it's from She Glam, which is super cheap, super cheap. And um, the color is soft tan. I'm gonna put some right up in here. Definitely down here. And then again, I kind of whoop, go up right there where I have my jowls to kind of help hide it and make it look like they're not there. I try to. I also like to make it look like I have a skinny face and have a line right there. Nice voluminous lips right there. Another thing I don't I think most most old people like me don't have but want. <laughs> And that's another thing, kids. <laughs> I have really been thinking about getting some lip injections. I'm so scared because I 100% don't want anyone to notice or be able to tell. I just don't want like those lines above my lips because they're to the point where everything seeps into them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of torn. I'm just taking a random big fluffy brush. You will also notice on my channel, <laughs> I don't know what any of my brushes are. I don't really care. <laughs> like, is that bad? Can I like still do makeup? <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a random old person who really likes to put on makeup and wants it to look like I'm still 20. That's, that's me. That's what I want. All right, so that's the contour. What blush do I want to wear? I think I'm gonna wear this again. So when I, my first video I ever posted was uh, like I got a makeup geek haul when they announced they were closing, obviously. I think a lot of people did. So one of the things I got was this blush, Passion. And I actually just used it for the first time a couple days ago. I love it, y'all. I love it. So pretty. And again, because I'm an old, I try and point everything up on my face, including my blush. So I just come kind of like up this way. I do, I think I saw someone else like taking it into like the corner of their eye there. I like that. So I'm doing it too now. I don't know. That'll do pig, that'll do. But let's go ahead and try concealer, boys and girls. And I'm going to try and use the Spencer, painted by Spencer, like his channel. He did a little, um, I don't know, it might have been a TikTok, I guess. I'm trying to learn TikTok, kids. If you have any advice on how you can filter what you're shown, let me know. I don't know how to do that. Like, I've put in, like, I like makeup. 
makeup artists, makeup looks, you know, all this stuff. And then I'll get random people doing dances. How do I filter and just see what I want to see? If you know, please let me know. I know I said I was going to do concealer, but I wanted to go ahead and get the, the lip oil plumper stuff on so that it can maybe do some magic there and plump out those lines a little while we're doing our concealer. Let's actually try this. So one of the brand new concealers I just got, I ordered like four new concealers I found on Amazon. I think the brand is Hyde. It's a multi-use full coverage concealer. It's pretty thin in consistency, so uh, I don't know if that means it'll be better or worse. Again, we'll find out together. We're on this journey as a team. So anyway, back to Makeup by Spencer. His tip, tips, that's true, for making your concealer look good was first, what I did is take your um, foundation up under your eye because what if you don't even need concealer? Why would you waste your time doing something like that if you don't need it? So if you do have to put on concealer, Spencer says, put it on the back of your hand, not, do not apply it directly to your face. Then he actually says to get a damp sponge, which I have, and use that to tap it. So I like this one. Don't know what it is or where I got it. You're welcome. But I'm sure it's probably at Ulta or something like that. Um, I like the way it's skinny and pointed. It helps like with the concealer type thing. So I'm gonna just tappy tap, tap it in. Tap, tap. And we're gonna try it. Brush. This is the Huda, Huda Beauty, I think it's cupcake powder. Hate it. Hate it. The unfortunate thing is that literally everything Spencer does is freaking stunning. Like he has, he can turn a warthog into Cindy Crawford. Like, I don't know how he does it. Like he's amazing. He's got crazy, crazy skills. I just don't have them. I'm doing highlighter by the way. Win some, you lose some. That was a loss for me. And it could have just been the concealer. So I might try it again but just with a different concealer. Okay. Yes, I still love the highlighter mustache. I don't care how old I am. Thank you. In the nose. Hashtag boom. This is the Luster Roop. highlighter from Makeup Geek as well. I was just gonna highlight something else. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yes. I put it right down there. And then on the tip, that's my jam. I, like I watched a video where Wayne Goss was like, if you're over 40, you need to stop highlighting. You look like this, da da da, da. I thought I looked beautiful. Suck it. So let's do our eye look. And I am going to try and mimic the look, like I said, that Julia Adams MUA did with this palette. Ta-da. All right. Well, let me get some brushes. No, I am not Irish. <laughs> I know my accent 100% fooled you, but I'm not, it's true. Okay, so this I got off of Amazon. It's probably terrible, I don't know. Becky Sue eyeshadow primer. This is the light one, I think. Yeah. I wanted to get the P. Louise, but I couldn't find it on Amazon and I'm kind of that person, if it's not on Amazon, I'm, I have, no idea how to get it. I've become that person. So I got this one instead because the container looked a lot like the Pink Louise container. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Prime. Now, back to Huda Booty. Radiate. Um, I was going to say in the crease, but my eyelids are so hooded I'm just gonna look ahead and like start where a normal human crease would be so that you can actually see it <laughs> Alrighty, and I'm gonna do the windshield wiper motion just making sure I go 
above where my natural crease is so that it is viewable. I have a bad habit of like when I'm doing this, when I'm putting on this um, transition shade that I want to be above my crease, I'll lift my <laughs> eyelid and then my aim is wrong. <laughs> so don't do that, Shannon. All right. I'm going to like just kind of blend it down onto the eyelid, but not really put it on the eyelid, if that makes sense. All right, transition shape. Okay, so what she did next, she took Precious, which is a lot like that shade, only a little darker, and a uh, same brush. I like this one because it's pointy. And she actually like kind of started here and just went out. Unfortunately, she has her eyebrows more out. <laughs> so I'm doing this and it's like running directly into the end of my eye eyebrow, which I don't love, I can't lie. Um, I did have my eyebrows, um, oh, what's it called, uh, microbladed. And I do love that. But now that they've been like this for a while, I'm like, you know what? I really wish they were more straight because I have such hooded eyelids and such a small space to work in. It would be so much better if I could, like if this went out as my eyebrow went out, right? Right, right? I think so. That's my opinion at least. Uh, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong per se, but I really think it looked better when she did it. <laughs> and maybe it is just my eyebrows, but yeah. I don't know if her, I can't remember if her eyelids are as hooded as mine either, but I'm trying to buff that out a little more. So it looks... I'm also not very good at doing a straight line there, I see. Are in the way. <laughs> okay. Then she took Moon Magic, which is also one of my favorite shades. She says it's her favorite. It's also one of my favorite shades. Like the the glitter shimmeries in in the Huda Booty palettes. I know it's Huda Beauty. I like Huda Booty. Are stunning. Like they are the most gorgeous ever. All right. So I'm gonna take Moon Magic. It's pretty creamy. And she actually put that all over the lid. I have to tell you, I, my favorite thing is about, like how pretty simple this is. Like it's not a lot of makeup. It's not a lot of um, blending, <laughs> like eight or seven, seven or eight different colors. <laughs> it's just a few shades and it still is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So now I'm actually just gonna go under and I'm gonna go back to the radiate, that first color, and put it all the way. And because I hate my under eyes so much, they're so dark and crepey, I do kind of go like down a bit here. <laughs> Cover everything up you can. <laughs> I think that's about even, maybe. Okay, and I, I think I've mentioned I don't know much about brushes, so one thing I probably should have done more of is pay attention to what kind of brushes she was using, but I'm just going to take a little flat smushy brush, technical term, back into the Precious, the darker shade, and take it out here. Just on the outer corner, because we're going to go back in the middle with Moon Magic to kind of highlight under the eye there. So I just want to darken up out here. And I actually, I couldn't tell you, she actually did this too. But I think it might help me. <laughs> just from the hooded eyes and stuff, you know. You know, the old. Okay. Now, I am actually gonna take that same little packy brush and give it a squirt. 
with my Hydro Grip Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Because it Hydro Grip, it's a grip, you know, it's grips. Give that a squirty or two. Pat on my hand a little bit so it's not like totally liquid. Go back into the Moon Magic and right under the pupil, stamp that. I can't tell if it's staying. Okay, yeah, I can see it there. Can you? <laughs> I don't know if that face helped or made it much worse. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh man, it's hard to tell if it's there. I think it's there. Yeah, I think I got it. <laughs> all right, so I believe that's all she did. Like I added the precious on the outside here. I am also going to add a little something, something. I love inner corner highlights. So I'm actually gonna add self love. The very, very corner one. There. I'm going to take my pinky in there and press it into the inner corner and a little bit up. Inner corner and up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's gorgeous. It's rose gold. Um, ooh, fun Shannon fact number whatever. Obsessed with rose gold. Obsessed with rose gold, makeup, and chihuahuas. So I told you about Lucy. She's a four and a half pound goddess. I also have three other chihuahuas. <laughs> I got a thing for the chi-chis. Now my other three though, they are not pure chihuahuas, they're mixes. Well, apparently Joey is a pure long hair chihuahua, but I don't know. <laughs> I think he's got a little something, something in there with him. That's just my opinion. But um, they're bigger too. Um, they range from like, uh, like 11 to 14 pounds. Um, Luna and Cece, well, Luna is a Chowini, and then Cece is Luna's daughter, and Luna mated with a Pomeranian. So Cece <laughs> is a uh, Dachshund Chihuahua Pomeranian. She looks like a miniature German Shepherd. Like her coloring, like her face, pointy little nose. Oh, I'll get pictures. They're gorgeous. They're stunning. They're absolutely horribly behaved. <laughs> They're turds, but I'm also obsessed with them. <laughs> so back to the face. This is the look. It needs bronza. The one that is right in front of me um, is the NARS. It's a mini NARS Laguna. That didn't help at all. You're welcome. But um, I love minis. Uh, one way that I try so much makeup is minis. So you'll see minis all over the place. Um, and a lot of the time, because I have so much makeup, I don't use, I don't use it up. I know Project Pan is going on and that's a big thing and it's a genius idea. I don't know, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll grow a little more willpower as I'm doing this. I'll find things that I love and I'll stick with and use them till they're empty. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet as a person, so. I don't know if that will ever happen for me. I don't know if that's my personal journey, but I am very excited that other people are able to do that. Okay, so we've bronzed or highlighted to the nines. Um, I don't know. Okay, like you'll, I'll link Julia's video. It looks so much better. It looks so much better, kids. Um, if I was to grade this fab or fail, I would cut kind of say I've failed a little bit. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? Please cast your vote below. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Do you see anything I could do better? Uh, I'm going to take the Cherished, which is that baby baby pink at the top. I'm going to try and blend this a little better up here. And I have to say, I would love to know if anyone else has this issue as well. I'm obsessed with the Huda Booty palettes, like I love them, but they tend to break up on me really bad. And like, I mean, you all saw, I even used a, the eye shadow primer today and I still 
feel like it's breaking up a lot and I don't know how to fix it like do you see that it's not a straight line anymore it's crumbly pieces <sighs> how can this be my favorite palette if it won't even stay on my freaking face you know I don't know like do you have to stipple this on or something oh, send help send help I just feel like it looks so bad on me like the pinks and stuff I I should say like the pinks and the glitters they're fine they look fine anytime there's a darker shade it just crumbles off my face like it literally disappears into like thin air <laughs> so I don't know Please share. Please share your thoughts. Her eyebrows, I mean, they're they're already shaped. So I am just going to go in with the Milk Kush Fiber Brow thingy. I'm just brush these up. I don't do a lot with my brows. I mean, that's why I paid to have the <laughs> the uh, microblading so that I wouldn't have to do a lot with my brows. It is starting to like come off a bit there and like thin. At this top arch over here it does require a little more effort um what do i want to do for mascara i know i oh there it is <laughs> oh yeah speaking of my makeup desk it's a hot mess like in a bad way not the good way it's like baby you're a hot mess no it's like jesus christ it's a hot mess that's the hot mess we're talking about right here. So I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> I'm going to post it wherever. And uh, please, I want you to comment and tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> Someone else has to be a messy bish as well. This is the bite mascara that I've heard so many people say that they hate. I don't know why I, I actually like it. <laughs> it is my second mini, I think. Which again, I'm not a person who uses anything up. That'll do, pig. Okay. What do we think about the rest? I don't. I think it looks pretty decent, right? Uh, I think. Yeah. This is. Does anyone else have wild nose hairs? Yeah, you're welcome. Um, this is this is doing it for me. I like it. I like it. I hate all the bleh in the eyeshadow where it's just like it's literally gone, kids. Like I don't know. Help again. Send help. See, this is dry enough to flick off. Whoever discovered that, like that, you can do that and shared it as a tip with the rest of the world. Kudos to you. Kudos. How many times would I just make a hot mess out of it? Like 180, 180 times at least. All right, for our final setting spray, I got this in a boxy charm. I'm gonna use Illa Mask. There we go. Hydra setting spray. Okay. We're setted. Now, lippies. So I'm obsessed with Bite Beauty. <laughs> I think I'll use this one. Sugar cane. Oh my gosh. It's a lip crayon, by the way. Sugar cane. You know, as you get old, did you guys know that your eyes get worse? <laughs> it's bullshit. Some shite of bull. Mm, should I wipe that off? Wipe off that lip oil a little bit. All right, favorite thing about these? You can use them to line. That's right. Line your lips. Lovely. Nice little new color. What is that? Dog hair. Does anyone else live their life covered in dog hair? Would I have it any other way? No. No, boys and girls, I wouldn't. <laughs> If you're a dog mom, you feel me. 
Are you in a cat mom? Same way. Cat mom. We're all the same. We just have different creatures. All right, over that, I'm going to use the Tower 28 in pistachio. I was hoping it would smell like pistachio, it doesn't. Mm. Stunning. What a good match. Look how good I did, Keds. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyone else <laughs> watch Will and Grace, the original, back in the old days? And remember that episode where Karen is getting divorced from Stan and so she's staying with Grace and so she's in the shower or in the bathroom and she's been in there like I don't know how long and Grace is like Karen come on we gotta go or something like that and she comes out and she's getting ready to walk out the door but she still has her hair up in a towel and Grace is like hey towel and so she flips her hair down takes the towel off flips her hair back up Rocking perfect, like 100% done, styled, gorgeous. And Grace was like, how, how the, and Karen turns around and goes, money. <laughs> oh my God, that's my favorite. Like that scene is like scarred in my head forever because I just think that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> money. <laughs> so you can tell, I don't have money because this is not perfect, but <laughs> like, you know it's it's there so <laughs> this is how i'm going to end it kids this is how i'm going to end it thank you so much for watching my channel please subscribe especially since i'm brand <laughs> spanking new and i need anyone to watch anyone so please subscribe if you have any makeup looks you would like me to try and recreate no matter how crazy let me know um, most likely I already have the palette, <laughs> the makeup or whatever, because I buy it all. And if I don't, I can get it. That, that would be cool. All right. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Let me know what kind of things you like to see, any makeup looks I should try and recreate. And especially my people, my boys and girls, kids and adults alike, concealer tips, concealer suggestions, anything, give it to me. We're on a concealer journey. Thanks for watching. Bye. Fan myself like a poor.